The hot stove is heating up. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to Arden Sports, and Sam talking about Madison Bumgarner signing with the Arizona Diamondbacks. And I have some interesting feedback on this one. So, Mad Bum has been pretty much the hero of the San Francisco Giants for the last 8, 9, 10 years, uh, including 21 innings in the 2014 World Series alone. Hoping they can get that third World Series in, what, five years? Six years, four years, whatever it was. So, for him to go and sign with the Diamondbacks, a team that isn't really all that, kind of baffles me a little bit. Um, There's reported interest from the Brewers, the Dodgers, and the Braves, which the Dodgers definitely would would have been the biggest slap in the face. But... I don't hate him signing with the Diamondbacks. It just kind of baffles me. Um, Because, one, they never had any reported interest. And for two, you're playing against a team... You're now playing for a team that, like I said, doesn't have the best roster. Like, yes, they have Eduardo Escobar. Yes, they have Catal Marte. Yes, they have Robbie Ray, Nick Godley. I think they still have him. And a few other guys. But it just, it's interesting. Um, Mad Bum has definitely kind of, I'm not going to say he's fallen off for the last couple of years, but he is not the hero he was in 2014. You know, they they originally reported he was, seeking this nine-figure contract, which, again, had teams like the Dodgers, the Braves, and the Brewers in it. But then all of a sudden, he goes five years, $85 million, which is about almost $20 million million less a year. In fact, it is $20 million less a year than Garrett Cole, Steven Strasburg, or Anthony Rendon. So that's another thing that kind of shocked me with, like, With the resume this guy has, and the fact that he did pretty decent last year. Like, yeah, he wasn't great, but he still went out out every day or every five days and gave it his best, and he did really well. And now we don't have the the duo of Buster Posey and Mad Bum anymore. We got Mad Bum and... John Ryan Murphy? Chris Stewart? <laughs> anyway. I don't hate this sign. Like, again, it's for five years, $85 million. Um, Yeah, I just... I just never saw this coming. Um, it also has his contract also has a uh, limited no trade clause, which allows him to block a trade up to, with for up to five teams, I believe. Um, more than likely, those teams are going to be all American League teams, um, just simply for the fact that he has said time and time and time and time and time again that he wants to hit. He wants he he hates the DH thing. He wants to hit. So, at least until when and if there is no more DH, which is actually not what's possibly being the case. It's actually possibly switched. Um, he will stay in the American League. And honestly, he'll probably be in the American League. Or the National... I'm sorry. He'll stay in the National League. And he'll probably be in the National League his whole career. Um, this contract, the 5-year 85, is only the... Um, second most biggest contract for in Arizona Dimex history behind Zach Granke's what was it, eight year one twenty one, I believe. So a lot and a lot of people thought that when Zach Wheeler got the what was it? Five year one eighteen that oh yeah, Mad Bum can get, you know, five years one thirty, five years one fifty. Didn't happen. He went he went and signed for a lot less. I'm, I'm assuming part of it probably has to do with the fact of um, geographically it's very pleasing 
from where he was to where he's going to be. Um, you figure he's lived in San Francisco. Now he's just down the old interstate there down to Arizona. So, or down the freeway, they call it down there. Um, so, yeah. Um, Mad Bum to the Diamondbacks the next five seasons. He'll help the team. They definitely still need to get a lot more. Um, that's not going to fix all their problems. Yes, it'll give them a solid probably one, two, three, or at least a solid one, two. Uh, gives them a new ace now that they have since gotten rid of Zach Granke to the Houston Astros back at the trade deadline, which I still hate that they did that, but that's besides the point. But anyway, that is my take on Madison Bumgarner. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Don't have a lot on it. Um, just simply because of my mixed reviews and mixed emotions. But I like it for the game of baseball, and I'll be curious to see what happens when Mad Bum takes the hill in AT&T Park against the San Francisco Giants for the first time in 2020. So that is going to be it for me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. It's the number one way to help out a channel. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace them out.